Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. In this video, I'm sharing, do healthy adults need 4,700 milligrams of potassium daily? What RDA, adequate intake, and daily values mean, potassium deficiency symptoms and risks, and low-carb diets and potassium deficiency. Almost seven years after publishing 20 high potassium foods, I still get comments that most Americans have a potassium deficiency. According to several viewers who wish to remain anonymous, 98% of the U.S. population is potassium deficient. They insist adults need at least 4,700 milligrams daily. As usual, they provide no proof they simply refer to information on the internet. We all know information on the internet is 100% accurate, unbiased, and reliable. The reliable internet warned up to 80% of senior adults receiving the COVID mRNA vaccine will die within three years. Three years later, there's been no reports of mass extinction among vaccinated senior adults anywhere in the world. So why should anyone believe they need 4,700 milligrams of potassium daily? Where does the 4,700 milligram requirement come from? It comes from the same U.S. government agency that approved the deadly COVID vaccines, the FDA. The FDA requires food makers to use 4,700 milligrams to calculate the daily value for prepared foods and dietary supplements. High potassium prepared foods provide 20% or more of the daily value per serving. Most prepared foods are not high potassium foods. Prepared foods that are high in potassium tend to be high-calorie foods. Because potassium deficiency was so rare, there currently is no recommended dietary allowance. Most healthcare organizations worldwide recommend healthy adults obtain 3,500 milligrams daily, not 4,700. Of course, most Americans are not healthy adults. People eating high-sodium diets may benefit by increasing potassium in their diet. Most Americans obtain their potassium from coffee, milk, potatoes, and tea. Vitamin and mineral RDAs are established by the National Academy of Sciences Food and Nutrition Board. RDAs are for nearly all healthy individuals. In the U.S., most individuals are not healthy. Adequate intake is used when there's not enough evidence to develop an RDA. The National Institute of Health considers 2,600 to 3,400 milligrams daily as adequate intake for healthy adults. Nutrition labels use percent daily value, again, for healthy adults. In this example, 2,700 milligrams provides 5% of the daily value, but 270 milligrams is 5% of 5,400, not 4,700. 62 milligrams is 2% of 3,100, not 4,700. What appears to be discrepancies are caused by rounding. What this information tells you is that this food is a very poor source of potassium. Low blood potassium is called hypokalemia. The normal range is about 3.6 to 5.3 millimoles per liter. Recent research indicates the number of Americans with hypokalemia has increased from 5 to 11%. 11% is a long way from 98%. The increase is not surprising since American life expectancy has decreased as chronic illnesses increase. How do you know if your diet provides enough potassium? 
A simple blood test checks your blood potassium level. Plant foods are the best low-calorie source of potassium. People eating low-carb diets may develop a deficiency. A potassium deficiency can increase blood pressure, kidney stones, bone turnover, urinary calcium excretion, and salt sensitivity. Symptoms of mild hypokalemia include constipation, fatigue, muscle weakness, and general feeling of being ill. Don't panic. There are common symptoms for many other medical conditions. Moderate symptoms are more severe. They include brain damage in patients with kidney disease, glucose intolerance, muscle paralysis, poor respiration, and irregular heartbeat. Your doctor and many home blood pressure monitors check for an irregular heartbeat. A severe potassium deficiency affects muscle contraction, including the heart. This condition requires immediate medical treatment. If your blood potassium level is within the normal range, your heartbeat is regular, and you have no symptoms of hypokalemia, your diet provides enough potassium. For healthy individuals, your kidneys remove and discard excess blood potassium. If your diet is very low carb, be aware of the symptoms of hypokalemia and have your blood potassium level checked. Foods condemned by low carb diets provide more potassium for a fraction of the calories. Some takeaways from this video is that the FDA nutrition label uses 4,700 milligrams to calculate percent daily value. There's no evidence 98% of Americans are potassium deficient, but their diets probably provide less than 4,700 milligrams. Low potassium can cause an irregular heartbeat and other serious symptoms. And there's a simple test to check your blood potassium level. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.